Hey YouTube, welcome back. How are you doing? Angel crew, angel crew, let's roll through the things and we can get on with it. Okay, so first things first, make sure you're subscribed and then hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload here. If you are interested in full length reactions to Angel or any of the other shows on Darcy's Watching Stuff, you can find those on my Patreon. It's linked down below along with a link to my main channel where you should also come subscribe. And last but certainly not least, leave a comment down below, but no spoilers. Okay, bye. I know these two episodes aren't technically a two-parter or some people maybe consider them an unofficial two-parter. So only knowing that small detail of like kind of could be considered a two-parter, kind of couldn't, I was like, I don't really know what to expect. I'm wondering if like maybe it'll be the, I guess like the case, <laughs> the case <laughs> it doesn't get solved in this episode like maybe by the end of the episode we aren't able to like save the person you know what i mean so we do it next episode or i was like maybe maybe serial killer maybe maybe it takes longer to get serial killers you know i don't really know i also wonder i also wonder not this isn't like regarding the two-part thing but it just in general i wonder if cordy and doyle will maybe go on a little date maybe they'll try it out maybe they'll test the waters you know just just to see it was kind of getting there. I think that'd be cute. Oh, and Angel. Oh my gosh, right? Last time we saw Angel. Oh, yeah. That was a rough one. Maybe he'll get a little bit of a break this episode. You know, just like really focusing on solving whatever case we're about to get into. Also, side note, petition for Angel to um like jump from rooftop to rooftop more often. Please. Okay, it's time. Let's get into it. It's a big, bad city out there. Are we making a movie? <laughs> we'll cast some beautiful, young actress. Where can we get one of those? Boom! She's attacked by a big, ugly goon with a knife. Is there no one to help me? <laughs> well, now there's someone who will answer your call. Go, Batman. And you can count on me, because I'm the Dark Avenger. <laughs> I'm the what? I'm the Dark Avenger. I know, it's perfect. Look, I know a little something it. about self-promotion, Angel. I'm telling you, <laughs> one commercial like this can help get us out of the red, or I'm just supposed to stand around and watch our business go belly up? It's not entirely wrong, you know. Look, all I'm saying is advertising a superhero who can't really go out in the daylight might raise vampire suspicions. And now I am suddenly thinking that Angel is all wrong for this commercial. She's always thinking about the growth of the business. You know, it's always on her mind. She's always thinking about it. She's, do she's doing it all, except for like the fighting and stuff. But like, the she's carrying a lot of this business on her shoulders, okay? She deserves so much credits. She's thinking marketing. She's given out fucking business cards, okay? That always looked like an angel to me, never a butterfly. And she's doing it on her own. She's coming up with those ideas. You go, girl creative as fuck make a commercial <laughs> she's also keeping track of like the expenses the she knows the ins and outs of this business she's so fucking important to its success she really is a girl boss in the best way not derogatory he's a larger than life character we need someone who's who's average <laughs> run of the mill baby robin ordinary <laughs> you're perfect <laughs> Our boss is in a funk. You know that he's only happy when he's fighting evil. Now let's drum up some. I don't know what we need evil for when we got you right here. I heard that. And she's right there. You said that out loud. Sometimes you keep things in your head. If you need help, then look no further. Angel Investigations is the best. Yeah. Our rats are low. Great. It's have rats. <clears throat> Someone who'll go all the way. Who'll protect you no matter what. So don't lose hope. Come on over to our offices, and you'll see that there's still heroes in this world. <clears throat> That's not bad. Is that it? I'm in. I'm calling. Am I done? I don't know. I think people will be pouring in as soon as they hear about our low rats. I don't think so. No, don't give up. It's a good idea. Maybe she Weasel should do factor, it. Huh? She's good at this. I feel kind of hopeless with him down there doing the nonprofit brooding. It's not like he has a heart. How could it be so broken? The costume? 
Well, the guy's a bona fide hero. Would it kill him to put on some tights and a cape and garner us a little free publicity? I don't see Angel putting on tights. It... Oh, now I do, and it's really disturbing. <laughs> hey. Last time I saw my ex, she was around for five minutes, and I was a wreck for days. It's amazing how they can do that to you. How dare you? How dare you? I hope he was here for more than five minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, my God, is he going to tell him? Actually, she was here for a whole day and night. Who are the oracles, Doyle? Why didn't you tell me about them before? The oracles? Yeah. Who told you about the oracles? Look, I tracked it, I killed it. Some of its blood mixed with mine, it made me mortal. That's when you took me to see the oracles to find out what it meant. Oh my God. I, I just kind of thought it was like gonna be one of those episodes where it's like, oh, this thing happened. And then we don't, it, like, why would he ever talk about it again? Cause he's the only one that remembers. But like, he has ways to make Doyle understand that he knows stuff that Doyle didn't, doesn't remember happened. This is, this is, makes sense. I just, it just, I just really didn't think it would ever be brought up. I don't know why. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if like Doyle's just gonna, no, he has to believe him because like he knows shit. This is, yeah. No, see, I'm going to remember a trip to the netherworld of eternal watching. Buffy and I were together until we realized it couldn't be. We belong in the world fighting. Oh, that's so sad. Human. You are a real, live, flesh and blood human being. And you and Buffy, you were the one thing you wanted in your naturally long life and you gave it back. See, I would have chosen the pleasures of the flesh over Judy and honor any day of the week. I just don't have that strength. I feel something coming, Doyle. I don't know what, but I know we're a part of it. Well, if it's a fight they want, can't someone else give it to them? <clears throat> just seems unfair, you know? You gotta save all the helpless types around here. Now you gotta fight the apocalypse as well. It's all the same thing. Tell you what, you fight, and I'll keep score. Angel started the day over knowing he'd remember everything that happened? <laughs> Amazing he didn't check the stock quotes or the lotto numbers. Angel should have told us what happened. True, though. Can't keep Priorities. Yeah, because if I want a relationship that's going to last, I need to put a few cards on the table. Such as? The thing of it is, I'm a little bit more than me. <laughs> the man with two brains. Oh, it just looks like it hurts. Bro, were those zombies? Not ghosts, right? Not ghosts, didn't get ghost vibe. I got a little bit of a ghost vibe. Did they look like they could afford to pay? Sure is coming. Doyle. Signs of life? I smell something. <laughs> Still warm. They left in a hurry. You didn't... Dude, you didn't need to taste it to know it's warm. You can just touch it. Temperature's a... a touch thing, not a taste thing. Fear. Is it kids? Not ghosts? <laughs> Don't be afraid. We gave all our money to a man who promised to get us passports and safe passage on a ship. Oh. We didn't know. It was stupid of us. We lost half our supplies. Reef, we have a guest. It's the promised one. Terrific. Yeah. In the final days of this century, the promised one will appear and save us from the scourge. No matter how many promised guys you throw at him, and they won't stop until every last one of us is dead, you're going to get us all killed. Uh-oh, this feels bad. They think I'm some promised savior. What? The scourge. What are they? Death. Are they ghosts? Just kidding. I don't know why this feels so intense. It feels so intense. This is a big one. But it's okay. We just need we need the info. We'll do the research. We'll get Cordy on the case. And it will be fine. Everything will be fine. We'll save them all. Except that main guy. The main guy. I feel like maybe we might not be able to save him. I feel like 
Doyle like still knows thing more. Like what's going on? Who's there? A friend. Who's there? I don't have any friends. Hey, do you have two? And who the hell are you? My name is Lucas. I'm a Bracken demon like yourself. Hey, he's another COVID variant. Safe. Until they came. Oh fuck. What are you talking about? Who's coming for you? The scourge. Tell us more. An army. Pure blood demons. They got a big hate on for us who mixed heritage types. Very into pedigree. They hunt us down like animals. No one fights back. Sure they do. All the time. Mm -hmm. You can kill them. Mm -hmm. But these guys believe in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They're ready to die for the cause. Hard to fight fanatics. More like impossible. I'm not asking you to fight. Just help us hide till we can get out of town. Hey, you got the wrong guy, pal. You're one of us. No, I'm not. I was raised human. I'm not looking to explore my roots. We don't have anyone else to turn to. If you don't believe we share a common family, believe we share a common enemy. That's Doesn't true. that mean anything to you? Oh my gosh. The idea of sudden family obligations with guys that look like big blue pin cushions, it was just a little bit too much to take right then. And what happened? the visions for the first time I thought I was having a stroke I bet. but I had to know if what they showed me was a dream or real you can't fight the scourge angel it won't come to that because we're gonna get him out of here Well, this may look like a popular brand of breath freshener, it's really a cunningly disguised demon repellent. Wintergreen. <laughs> Cordy, it's okay. <laughs> We're here to help them. Hey, Doyle, you did notice that these folks are demons. Yeah, I know that. Just making bad people. So we're booking them on a cruise? Basically, yeah. The guy runs a freighter. He owes Angel some money. He does this, they're even. Ho, ho, hang on. This guy owes Angel money? <laughs> yeah, well, Why what? are we collecting it? Cordy, oppressed demon people here. Right. Bad things are coming, aren't they? Very bad things. I could get into a hell of a lot of trouble doing this. Not as much as if you don't. Big Randy's my brother. I look the other way once in a while and some of okay. his shit is just because he's family. It's not because of the money. Big Randy told you about me, right? What I am? He said you bit him. No, I never bit him. <laughs> I wasn't hungry. No one looks inside that ship who tries to stop it from leaving port. If they do, then look for me to get a little bit peckish. Right. You can use your vampire nest when you need to. What is it? Reef. He took off. Um, he does this every time. He'll be well, back. He probably doesn't trust much. We're not gonna get killed, are we? No. No one's gonna get killed. Someone Cordy. is most definitely going to get killed because they keep hey. saying it. We're gonna lose people. Someone's gonna get killed. No one's gonna Do get you know killed. Where he went? Is it gonna be the, the like dad guy? I assume he's like the dad. I don't know. The leader we keep you know. The real nice one? Not the kid. No, no, not the kid. No, we ought to go. Hey just got a way out. A ship. Yeah, great. Have fun. Make some drama mean. My heart is racing now. It's your choice. Right. A choice. You wouldn't get it. You're passing. My mother was the same way. You're passing, yeah, exactly. To walk down the street. Yep. She took me out with her one day. I was so excited. You know what day it was? What day was it? It's Halloween. So that's my choice. I can be hated by humans because they're scared of me. Or by pure bloods who want to kill me. Bet you that little girl's going to miss you. Yeah, well, she's dead by now. Stop saying Might as well be. Maybe Angel doesn't know what he's doing. It's possible. But the other option, losing yourself somewhere, hoping it all goes away, I know 
That never works. Well, it's oh not a- Oh my God, this is so much. I'm so scared. But I also really need them to stop talking about someone dying, not everyone making it, someone's gonna get killed because like, stop, you're making my anxiety shoot through the fucking roof here. I just thought this was gonna be an episode where Cordy and Doyle go on a date. <laughs> Maybe they still will. Maybe a celebratory date, you know? Exactly the love boat, is it? <sighs> Sorry, we don't haul people, we haul cargo. It won't be the most comfortable thing in the world, but we'll get them where they're going. What? Run. Stay here. You understand? There's too many. There's way too many, dude. You gotta go back. They're coming. They're here. And when the lights come on, where do the vermin go? Hopefully they're already on the ship. Keep looking. Or what? This? Back off. It's my kill. Vampires don't feed on demon blood. <laughs> Please. I wouldn't eat this. He reeks of humanity. You're one to talk, vampire. Yours is the lowest of all the half-breeds. You think I don't know that? Please, please don't! What in the fuck is happening? I know who you are. I want to join you. You wish to die? I need to be cleansed. I can help you. Maybe you can. I don't know the plan and I'm fucking freaking out. I don't get it. What's the plan? What's happening here? We're going straight in. Like we're handing ourselves over. I think I hated that plan. Can you tell me the plan? Also, that looks so real. He is a good actor. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Can all black and demons do that? We're stronger in demon form. Huh. But I generally prefer to pass as human. Yeah. Just more familiar for Doyle. He has to live with a certain amount of persecution. You always do when you're half demon. Demon? <laughs> Won't it die of its own innate mortal stupidity? Oh, she's so scary. Forever diluting our precious demon blood with their weak. <laughs> Looks weird. But what is he gonna do? Take them all on? There's a lot of them, dude. We will not stop until each and every half breed is erased and our purity rules this planet. Tonight, the half breeds that have eluded us will be destroyed. And we know how to find them thanks to this good man. First mate on a ship they think means salvation. He comes to us for money, but he is a brother to our cause. He makes it all so clear. Yes. Not to me. Its deadly reach will extend a quarter mile in every direction. <laughs> Fitting end for a sorry mutation. Okay, he's just gonna sneak off. And now he has the information. That was ballsy, dude. Oh, I made it. Do you have any idea what you put us through? We've gotta get out of here. I'm sorry. You're alive. And you're not happy? We were worried. <laughs> well, it's all gonna be okay. You're happy, you didn't tell What was that for? Why didn't you tell me you were half demon? I thought we agreed that secrets are bad. Thought if I did, you'd reject me. I've rejected you way before now. So you're <laughs> half demon. I mean, I work for a vampire. Hello? It's true, I just- What do you think I am? Superficial? I mean, you're half demon. That is so far down the list. Way under short and poor. That's out. 
it's done. Would you ask me out for dinner already? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> Cordelia. Maybe we should make sure that everything else is okay. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to change Angel. Wait. Yay, date. We can, I can't find my first mate. You won't, we're going, get to the bridge. Got hair. <laughs> change your hair back. The plan is just to get them going. Like, oh, that guy's not gonna make it. You lied to us, half breed. You catch on quick, football head. Get him, Angel. Kill him. Let's go. Like, what do you say, quarter mile or something like that? It's fully armed, isn't it? Almost. High public cables, I think I could still shut it off. How are you gonna do that without touching the light? Angel, it's suicide. There's gotta be another way. It's all right. No. The good fight, yeah? You never know until you've been tested. I get that now. Too bad we'll never know. Doyle. If this is a face you could learn to love. <laughs> dude, dude. I'm gonna need you to chill the fuck out. Doyle. Doyle, no. Doyle. Doyle! Doyle! No! Doyle, no! further. Angel Investigations is the best. Our rats are low. Wait. Says rats. So, our rates are low, but our standards are high. And you're at the end of your rope. You need someone that you can count on, and that's what you'll find here. Someone who'll go all the way, who'll protect you no matter what. So don't lose hope. Come on over to our offices, and you'll see that there's still heroes in this world. There's no way. <clears throat> Is that it? Am I done? No. Grr, arg. He's actually gone, gone? He died, died? He died, died? I swear to God, if this is some stupid demon loophole and he comes back next episode, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. There's no way. There's literally no way. I mean, there's a way. <laughs> there's literally no way. Our guy literally sacrificed himself to save everyone. And now he's gone, gone? Like, really, actually? I mean, I guess I fucking watched him. But it's Robin. 
Like we're we're a trio. Do you know what I mean? Like we're a trio. Do they know it's season one? This is it's season one. Do they know that? You can't do that in season one. <laughs> You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to. But we need him. Oh, I can't believe they played that little tape at the end. <laughs> I keep all cry. Oh man, and him and Cordy were gonna go on their little date. They were gonna go out for dinner. I still have just so many questions about him and his visions and now I'm never gonna get any of the answers. Ever. What are we gonna do without him? <laughs> I can't fucking believe that just happened. I'm having a real hard time. My brain feels like it's kind of racing a little bit. Are we gonna be sad for a while? Like us at the office? <laughs> I thought, oh my god, I knew someone was gonna die, but I thought it was gonna be like the dad guy. The dad, the one like the, you know him? Or the kid. The, either the young girl or the kid that like kind of like ran away or whatever. I feel like I don't know what else to say because I'm just really trying to process this. <laughs> I need a cookie. Oh my God, I need a cookie. Uh, 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 did we have to do that? I guess because of like anything with Hemo that would include Cordy, that would include all of the people that were there. Really interesting episode though i feel weird saying like half demon and like even some of the weird lines like why didn't you tell me you're half demon where it's like what i feel like some of the metaphors kind of get lost a little bit in some of the talking points but ultimately i get what they were going for i feel so sad like we, we already lost one of us okay well i'm gonna go <laughs> i guess i guess i'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I'll wrap it up here I'll let you know if I have more thoughts later. Um, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.